The next topic is DC analysis of transistor biasing, uh, which is a continuation of the last video where we have seen three different types of biasing. One is your fixed or base bias. Second one is called as your collector to base bias and the third one was your voltage divider biasing. So what is meant by DC analysis? Why is it called as DC analysis? Because we are going to fix the values of the currents and uh, voltages. Currents and voltages by applying only your DC voltage. Only your DC voltage. Right. So why? What is the reason? DC supply. What is the reason? Because you have to fix your operating point on the active region. That is the reason why you go for this biasing. Okay. So what is the first type? Fixed or base bias. Let me draw the diagram once again. Okay. So this will be your NPN, right? NPN. Across the collector you had your resistor RC. Okay. Across the base you had your fixed resistor RB which is connected commonly to your VCC along with your RC. Okay. So this was your diagram. So what is this voltage? VCE. What is this voltage? VBE. Okay. What is the current flowing through RB? It is IB. Current flowing across RC is IC. Okay. So this is your diagram. So in order to do the DC analysis, what you have to do is you have to apply your Kirchhoff voltage law uh, across your input loop as well as your output loop. This is your very easy method. Okay, so you have to find out the values of the current and voltages, right? So if I apply your Kirchhoff voltage law across the input loop. So what is the input loop? You know that for common emitter configuration, your input is across your base, right? So the loop is, which is a uh, closed loop always starts from positive and negative, right? It is a closed loop. So here it is plus VCC, the ground is negative. So this is your loop, okay? Or this is your closed loop. Now, in the case of the output, what will be your loop? Your plus to minus, your path will be through the collector, VCC to your ground. So this will be your output loop and this is going to be your input loop, okay? So if it has to be uh, understood, let me draw it again. This will be your emitter and this will be your RC, right? With your VCC. Now here you will be having your base resistor along with VCC, right? RB. So this will be connected to the positive, negative and here it will be connected to the emitter. So actually this circuit can be converted. So let us proceed with your first circuit, okay? okay? So applying Kirchhoff voltage law to the input loop. To the input loop, we can get the values of your input currents and input voltages, right? So what is meant by Kirchhoff voltage law? Kirchhoff voltage law, the second Kirchhoff law states that the algebraic sum of the voltages around the closed loop is equal to zero. So what are the voltages you have? The sum of the voltages. So starting with your plus VCC. So it is plus VCC. Now the current is flowing from positive to negative. So what will be the sign here? Positive to negative. So the path is towards down, right? So here it is plus VCC. Now here it is plus to minus. So take the second sign. So minus. What will be the voltage drop across RB? Voltage V is equal to I into R, right? So what is the current? Uh, IB and your resistor is RB. So I can write it as IB into RB. Here you have the voltage plus to minus, right? So this is your again minus potential. So minus VBE is equal to zero. Now the loop is closed. So this is how you have to write your uh, Kirchhoff voltage law, okay? So from this, can you find out the value for IB? Okay, so what will be your uh, IB? So reconfigure your equation. IB RB is equal to VCC minus VBE. So therefore, what will be your IB? IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RB. So let me take this as equation 1. So now you have got your uh, value of the current IB. So you know that the value of your uh, VBE, right? Base emitter voltage will be 0.7 in the case of silicon and 0.3 in the case of germanium. Okay. Now you have to find out the output parameters. So what will be output parameters IC, 
and VCE, right? Current IC and current VCE. So for that, what you're going to do? Apply Kirchhoff voltage law across the output loop. Now what, same, repeat the same method. So here now the loop will be across the output path. So here you have plus VCC, plus VCC. Now what is the potential here? Plus to minus. So minus IC into RC minus the voltage across your RC will be current into your resistor. Minus IC RC. What is the next potential? You have plus to minus. Next voltage is minus VCE. Take the second uh, polarity. Okay. VCE is equal to 0. Now from this can you find out what is the value for VCE? VC is equal to VCC minus IC RC. Now this will be your second equation by which you can uh, apply your uh, you can fix your operating point. In this case, what, what can you do uh, for operating point? You can put either VC is equal to 0 or IC is equal to 0. You can get the corresponding DC load line values. Okay, So this will be your DC analysis of your fixed or base bias. The next type is going to be your collected to base bias. right? So collected to base bias. So in the case of collected to base bias, let me draw your diagram once again. So you have your common emitter. So emitter will be grounded. You will be having your RC to which you are connecting your VCC. Now what is the difference? Now your RB is connected from the collector to the base. So this is going to be your RB. Now your supply to your base is nothing but your VCE. So this is your voltage VCE. Now here it is VBE. Now what will be the current flowing across your RC? The sum of both the currents IC and IB. So here you will be having the current IB across the input. So here you will be getting plus to minus. This will be your diagram. Okay. So follow the same method as we have done for the previous one. So apply KVL across input loop. So here the input uh, is uh, the base right. So applying input loop. So what will be your input loop? Listen here carefully. Here it will be from your VCE to your ground. Okay. So here it will be plus VCE. Okay. So it will be plus VCE. The supply is not VCC. It is VCE. So it will be plus VCE. Then here your potential is plus to minus. So it is minus. What is the voltage? IB into rb okay then here what is the voltage plus to minus so minus vbe is equal to zero so what will be your uh, vce voltage vce will be equal to vbe just reconfigure the equation plus ib rb so this is your first equation okay now you apply the kvl across the output loop across output loop so what will be your output loop it will be from your vcc till your emitter right or your ground now what will be your loop equation it is plus vcc it starts off with plus vcc here the potential is plus to minus so minus what will be your voltage minus ic plus ib into your resistor that is your rc right plus here it is plus to minus. So it is not plus. It is minus VCE is equal to 0. Now what will be your VCE is equal to VCC minus IC plus IB into RC. So this is your equation 2. See your equation 1 and 2. From equation 1 and 2, your LHS is equal, right? So you can equate both uh, the equation. So what will you get? So equating I can write it as VBE plus IBRB is equal to left hand side is equal. So equate both, both this you will be getting is equal to VCC minus IC plus IB into RC. Okay. So from this can you find out the value for IB? So just re reconfigure the equation. So IB, RB plus, okay, VBE, bring all this to the opposite side, minus VCE plus IC plus IB into 
R C is equal to 0. Now you know that what is the one uh, formula I C is approximately equal to beta into I B. Output current is equal to your current gain into your input current. Right. So when you substitute you know that I C is equal to beta into I B. When you substitute this equation instead of I B what you will be getting I B R B plus V B. Here it is VBE, right? Yeah, VBE minus VCC plus instead of IC, substitute the value beta into IB plus IB into RC. IB into RC is equal to 0. Now what will you get? Just take all the IB terms together. So IB into here you have one RB, right? Here you have beta into IB. So here you will be having plus beta into RC you have right. Beta into RC again you have plus RC plus VBE minus VCC is equal to 0. What will be your IB then IB is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by this will be in the denominator, right? Rb plus beta. Rc, you can take it as common. Beta plus 1 into Rc. So, this is going to be your equation of your Ib. Okay? So, this is your third equation. So, when you compare this equation of your Ib along with your previous, uh, previous uh, equation, Ib is equal to Vcc minus Vb by Rb. So, you have in addition one more factor which is equal to beta plus 1 into Rc. That is the only difference which you have in your collector to base bias. Next topic is going to be your voltage divider biasing. Okay. So, in the case of voltage divider biasing, you have a voltage divider circuit in the input. Right. Voltage divider biasing. It is also called by another name voltage divider with emitter bias. Okay. Emitter bias. So, let me draw your diagram once again. So, here you will be having your emitter resistor RE. Across the collector you will be having your collector resistor RC. Across the input you have a voltage divider circuit. So, let me take it as R1 and R2. Okay. So, here you will be applying your common VCC. Now, what is your DC analysis? You have to find out the different values of your currents and voltages, right? So, what are the different currents? The current flowing across R1 is I1. The current flowing across RC is IC. The current flowing across R2 is I2. And the current flowing across RE is IE. Okay. So, in this type of voltage divider biasing, you are going to take a very important assumption where your current I2 is very, very greater than IB. This is one of the assumption you are going to take. Okay. In your derivation. Similarly, here it is, uh, here IC is approximately equal to IE. So, this is your second uh, approximation. So, IC will be flowing across your RE, uh, uh, sorry, same current. So, here IC will be uh, dominating. So, IC, I can tell that IC is approximately equal to IE. So, when you apply here, what about the Kirchhoff voltage law? Across the input, you will be having the first loop equation. So, across the input, this will be your first loop equation. This will be your Kirchhoff voltage law across the output. That is your second loop equation. In addition to your input and output, you have one more loop equation. This will be your third loop equation. That is the loop equation between your base to your emitter. So, this will be your third loop equation. So, the what are the voltages plus to minus? This will be your VCE. Here it is plus to minus VBE. And here since it is a voltage divider biasing, this voltage will be taken as VB, the voltage across your base, VB. That is the voltage across your resistor R2 will be your voltage across your base VB or let me write it here. So, this is going to be your VB. Okay. So, let us start off with your uh, first uh, uh, Kirchhoff voltage law across your first loop, across the input loop. So, across the input loop, what will be your equation? So, it starts off with plus VCC, plus VCC. So, here the drop is plus to minus. So, minus second polarity, minus I1 R1, I1 R1, right? 
here it passes the input passes through the second r2 so here it is plus to minus so second polarity minus i2 r2 which is equal to 0 but here you know that see here the current i1 is flowing across r1 as it reaches this point the current i1 is divided across i2 and so this current is equal to ib there is one more current right so what will be a current i1 i1 is equal to i2 plus ib so i can write that the current i1 is equal to i2 plus ib okay but now what is assumption i2 is greater than greater than ib so i2 is very very greater right than ib so now i can neglect ib this is due to your assumption designing parameter so I can tell that I1 is approximately equal to I2. So if I substitute instead of I1, I can substitute I2. Now what will be the value? Vcc minus I2 R1 minus I2 R2 is equal to 0. Okay. So take I2 as common. So Vcc minus I2 into R1 plus R2 is equal to 0. So from this can I find out the value for I2? I2 will be equal to Vcc, you just reconfigure it, right? Vcc divided by R1 plus R2. So, this is one equation, one important equation, okay? Now, see when I take this uh, diagram separately, the voltage divider. So, if this is your Vcc, Vcc, so this is your R2, this is your R1. So, this is going to be your voltage Vb, right? So this is your ground. So it, it can be applied by voltage division rule also. But let me go on with the direct formula. Now you have found out I2. Now what will be the voltage across Vb? Vb is equal to the current I2 into R2. Right. So Vb will be equal to current I2 into R2. I2 into R2. So what is your I2? Already you have found out the value. So R2. Now, I2 is equal to Vcc divided by R1 plus R2. So, here you have one R2. Right. So, this is your voltage Vb. Okay. So, this can be called by another name voltage division rule. So, what is meant by voltage division rule is if you have two uh, resistors in series, then the voltage across this resistor R2 can be taken as the particular voltage, the source voltage Vcc into your uh, uh, particular uh, resistance of the voltage which you have to find out vb across this vb the resistor is equal to r2 right so what will be your equation by voltage division rule vcc the total uh, voltage into your resistor across the output voltage divided by total resistor r1 plus r2 so see here whether this is same as this equation okay so, this can be applied by using the voltage division rule also. Okay. So, Vb is equal to Vcc divided by R1 plus R2 into R2. So, this is your uh, equation of your Vb. Okay. Now, what is your next voltage? R uh, Across the Re, you have one voltage. Let me take it as Ve. So, you know that Ve is equal to voltage is equal to Ir current into resistor. What is your current IE into RE? So now you have got the next parameter VE. Okay. So now you are going to apply the next loop equation KVL across your uh, loop. What is your second loop across your output loop equation? So what will be your output loop equation? Okay. Across the output. So output loop equation it starts off with plus VCC. Now plus 2 minus here it is plus 2 minus plus so minus IC RC the current into your resistor then you have plus 2 minus VCE so minus VCE across the emitter also you have plus 2 minus right so minus IE into RE but you know already IE is approximately equal to IC which is equal to 0 okay so you know that IC is approximately equal to IE. So, replace this IE by means of IC. Okay. So, now you have to find out the value for VCE. VCE will be equal to take, bring all the other side. VCE will be equal to, okay, VCC minus, if I take IC as common, you will be getting RC plus RE, right? Because IE is approximately equal to IC. 
So VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So this is the output equation. So let me take this as equation 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now again you have one more loop, right? KVL across the base emitter loop. So base emitter loop. So across the base emitter loop, you can find out the current IE. So when you apply the base emitter loop, what is your equation? This is your VB, right? So here it is minus 2 plus. I am taking the loop in this direction. Minus 2 plus. So you have to take the second polarity. So it will be plus VB. Okay. Plus VB. What is the next? Plus 2 minus. So minus VBE. Okay. Minus VE is equal to 0. So plus 2 minus. It is VE is equal to 0. So now what will be your VB? VB is equal to VB minus VE. And again you can reconfigure this by taking VE. VE is equal to what will be the value VB minus sorry VB minus VBE right. So when you bring this right. V. Now what is VE? You know that it is equal to IE into RE. IE into RE is equal to VB minus VB. From this can you find out the value for your current IE? IE is equal to VB minus VBE divided by RE. Okay. So these are the different values of the currents and voltages. Let me take this as your equation 5. This as your equation 6. Okay. So these are the different values of your currents and voltages by applying your DC. It is called as DC analysis. Okay. The notes will be available in my telegram channel and the link will be given in the description box.